Hi guys, in this video we're going to go through to part 2 of the first video which was this one here. Um, in this video we ex I explained why um, cake pops crack and why you can't get a smooth round finish on your cake pops. So that was the first video and now in this video I'm showing you how to fix, um, well how to transform the cake pops if that does happen to you. So we've, we've got these cake pops here that we're using and we're going to, um, I'm going to show you how to transform those cake pops into to these ones here so it's it's a very um, simple quick way to fix cracked and broken cake pops it's only going to take us about 20 minutes to transform those into these ones here so we're going to get our cake pops and we're going to first scrape off all the lumps and bumps that we have on our cake pops so you're going to go through them anywhere that you see big chunks of chocolate you're going to scrape it off if you get the cake pop um, picking through because of the cracks it doesn't matter because you're cutting them off so it doesn't matter because we're going to dip them into chocolate so as you can see you're just going to go around and just scrape off and cut off all those lumps now I've melted some Nestle melts in the microwave and I've um, coloured them with pink food colour powder. I've just used a little bit of powder because I want a light pink. And then what you're going to do is start dipping them into the melted chocolate. And we're just going to treat them as if they're normal cake pops. The only difference between these ones and normal cake pops will be is that they'll just have a thicker um, chocolate coating. So as you can see I'm dipping the blue ones as well because I just want them all one colour. I'm not going to um, make blue food colour. So just one colour is fine. I'm just going to do them all pink. And um, we're going to then leave them to dry. So just leave them on the foam block and let them dry. Um, they only take about 5 to 7 minutes to dry. So while they're drying we're going to go into the fondant to make the decoration. So you're going to roll out a thin piece of fondant, use a lot of corn flour, it just makes it nice and thin and it will be really um, easy to roll out. Now I'm using plunge cutters, I purchased my plunge cutters off eBay, uh, they're a great buy and there is hundreds of designs to choose from and personally these are my favourite, favourite cake decorating tools so just go onto eBay and just write plunge cutters and they come from China or Hong Kong and um, that's what we're going to use to get the decoration on our um, cup, uh, cake pops. So now we're going to use our plunge cutters on the thin piece of pop fondant and plunge cutters are very very simple to use. You're just going to press them in which is then going to give you the shape which is going to cut out a shape for you. You're going to press the top bit down and that imprints the design and then it, you're going to pop them right out. So they're very 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 easy to use. Here I've got a butterfly and I'm just going to put her wings up and I'm just going to leave a little bit of fondant underneath. So her wings can dry so it looks like she's flying. You don't have to use fondant, you can use a little bit of paper towel if you want. You can use anything to support her wings. And when you're using these plunge cutters, just make lots of designs for yourself because that way if you don't like some, you've got um, other ones to choose from and then you don't have to go through this process of making them again. So I'm making some tiny hearts, flowers, leaves and just um, going around with as many plunge cutters I've got just to make um, many designs. They're really fun and easy to use. This took me about two, three minutes to do all of these. So in no time you've got plenty. Um, and remember you can use these plunge cutters on cupcakes too. Really quick cupcakes. So now we're going back to our cake pops and we're going to use a paintbrush with just a little bit of water and we're going to get our piece of fondant and now here you can be as creative and have as much fun as you like because it's um, now it's just decorating which is like the best part, most easiest and fun part. So we're just using a little bit of water to stick on the fondants, um, fondant pieces, and you can angle them whichever way you want. Um, and you're going to go just go around and do the do it to all of them. So a um, little bit of water, get your fondant piece, stick them on. Um, the water is basically our glue against the chocolate and fondant, and that design is on your cake pop. So now I'm going to go ahead and finish it all off, and I'll come back to show you guys what it looks like when they're all done. So now um, that they're all finished, that's what they look like. Um, really quick and easy way to fix cake pops. So I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Um, please subscribe to my channel if you like my videos. And if you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. Thank you so much for watching, guys. And I hope you tune in my next video. Thanks, guys. See you next time. Bye.